Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki, here to share with you how I organize not only my side of the bed, but also Mike's bedside cabinet. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as a part of the At Home with Nikki family. So definitely click that subscribe button and the bell and let's get started. <music> Okay friends, so let's start with my side of the bed. Many of you know I keep a notebook where I can brain dump any ideas or things that come in my head when I hit the bed because I need to get it off my brain and get it somewhere else and that notebook helps. I also have these two beautiful containers right beside my bed and I keep one for like little self-care things like kind of my, um, you know, Vaseline for my lips and um, cool mints and just things like that, just the basics. And then here I have my eye mask and eye cream and I just keep that uh, tucked right in there, really easy and easy to grab when I'm in the bed. I do have this case up here that I got years ago from at home. I keep my everyday, you know, kind of jewelry that you always see me wearing in there. Can't fit my wedding ring right now. So of course I have that tucked away. And I do have the um, lotion stick. And this is something that my sister-in-law Mariah had got me and I love it. It's really easy to just kind to give you a little bit of moisture on your hands and things like that and then of course some napkins now in here this is where I have um, kind of my clippers nail clippers and yes I do have a lot of them because I have sets you all know with my work bag and handbags and things like that and when I travel I like to coordinate my bags and so I have them in um, kind of my rose gold set my black set gold set and that way um, depending on where I'm going or what I'm doing I can just come here and shop those items so this is the main home for all of my clippers and you'll notice that I keep them in um, kind of those different gold tones because of the way I organize my other bags. And so I just keep them again, all tucked in here. And then of course my bedside perfume, I just keep tucked right there in the front. I also have some um, hair ties in the back, both the hair ties and the hair, hair bands rather in the hair clips. And that's all that I keep um, in this little drawer here. And this is actually a, a jewelry organizer, but it comes in so handy. I keep my readers down there and I have a little gold book that I just have sitting there that I don't even really use. It's more for decor purposes. Now under the cabinet here, this is where I keep things in different categories. So again, you see I have the same system with the jewelry organizers down there. And then I have these three bins. And so I wanna take you through and kind of show you the different categories and what each have. So the first one here, this is my water station, you can call it. It's where I keep my water so that I have some to take my medicine at night. Along with, I have my spray um, water bottle. This is, uh, not water bottle, but my facial uh, mist because I'm not a morning person. So when I spray my face in the morning, it really is helpful. I then on the side here, this is where I keep basically my my blood pressure machine, I keep my kind of medical items, my pill kind of splitter, and those types of things are kept in here. I'm going to purge this one. I don't like the wrist one because it basically doesn't read correctly, so I really need to just move that out instead of keep continue to store it and I don't use it. So that is going to find its way out of my home. And the third bin here is my stationary bin. This is where I keep like my journal, I keep my notepad. Um, if I need to jot anything down, I can have it there, leave Mike a note. And then we do our couples devotional in the bed most nights and I have my little bed uh, bag here with highlighters and pens and things like that and then my little um, um, planner notebook uh, for our kind of couple time devotional time so I'm, I'm probably do a video on that um, planner for you so you can kind of see in more detail about that but it's just easy to keep it bedside because this is usually where I'm accessing it so it's really easy to keep it there and then I have a little bag for all of my like techie items I have my old school iPod in there um, I have my extra headphones and things like that I just have in chargers and stuff I have tucked away in there so that is like my little kind of bedside office area there or stationary area and then I have these two beautiful um, kind of basket bins woven bins down here and I believe I got these from Marshall's and I love them them. They're really big and I have them in two different categories here. So it makes it easy just to come and just drop whatever I need. So I want to take you through and kind of show you what each, the purpose of each one of these is for. So the first one here that I have, this one is where I keep all of my bed maintenance things is the best way to put it along with my hair ties. So it's easy at night to just grab my kind of hair wraps and grab them right here. And it's easy to put them away in the morning. And I need that for myself, especially in the morning. And then here's where I keep all 
all my bed linens, pillow sprays, room sprays, and I keep those in that little organizer down there. And it's actually a purse organizer, but it works so perfectly in this basket so that the things are not falling over. Now in the second basket here, this is where I keep all of my vitamins and medicines and things like that. And I also keep the organizers within this basket also. It makes it easy when I go to refill and things like that, having everything together. And then if I take my bag, sometimes I'll keep that on my desk at the um, in my home office. And I keep keys by my bedside in a drawer because in case of an emergency, I want to be able to easily grab and go. And so in another drawer, I keep all of my loose change here. It's just about having a home to dump it when I need to out of my purse or wallet or whatever the case may be. Just having a place for a little um, loose change. So that comes in really handy. Along with, I have a drawer that I put um, my um, eye mask in so I can easily get them when I need it. And then a place for my essential oils um, that I like for bedside for relaxation purposes. And then a space for my writing pens um, when I'm kind of working in bed or writing or needing to write something down. And that is basically it friends, that's my side of the bed. And so now that we went through my side, I wanna take you through Mike's side of the bed, which is a similar setup to mine, but just in a more masculine color. And he said, no worries, he didn't mind me showing his side of the bed, so uh, we're good to go. But it's very minimal on the top, which keeps it easy for him. And then inside the cabinet here, um, again, we have kind of the same setup, but a little different. So he has his bedside books here and um, the little box here. And this is where he just keeps those he likes to read in bed. And then he has this little metal basket here, which keeps all of the remotes. It does no good to be on my side of bed because I'm no good at working these things. And I can clearly see that we do need to purge these down because all of these are not even for use in our bedroom. So I think about three of them um, are what we would keep in here. Or well, two, because we have one for the fan. Three, because we have one for the fan. So I think that we should be down to about three or four. Now in his drawers, he keeps his spare wallet in there. He keeps change in um, here. It's a good place for him to be able to drop his change when he comes in. He can have a place to put it. It makes it very convenient. He even has spaces that are empty, which is always a good thing. Um, some of the drawers he has, or one of the drawers he has for his pens so that he can keep them there. Probably could be pared down just slightly. Um, we both keep, um, you know, flashlights by our bed and then also batteries. He keeps a place for batteries for the remote and then a place for all of his spare keys are in here so that is easy for him to reference when he needs it he has a home for it and then all of his military coins which are these are personal to him so it's great that they're on his bedside and he has a home for them and when you're organizing your you know home it's about having a place for your things you know when he has a coin he knows where to put it when he has loose change he knows where to put it now going below this is where he has also two bins and this is great for Mike because he loves to come in and just drop he's not wanting to put things in a bag or um, you know having a special system he just needs a simple system of just simply having a place to drop it so one is intended for when I gave him the bins were intended for all of his tech uh, tech items so this is where he would put all of his cords his headphones anything as it relates to tech and the reason why I love that these are so big because he can even drop his laptop and things in there um, when not in use and he has a home for it and so when I look in here I do see some things that we can purge um, down that we don't don't use so I'm thinking that you and I are going to go on a journey of kind of giving him a little uh, mini makeover here of his two bins. Now the second bin here is where he keeps all of his medications and again he is about just coming in and having a place to dump it. I'm okay with it because when he opens the cabinet I don't see a bunch of clutter because the baskets kind of disguise that but and everything is in categories so you know things have categories but I think we can simplify this a little better so that um, it's more organized and so that it's easier for him to get specifically to his medicine. So what you see me doing here now is I'm going to clear everything out the basket and as I'm clearing it out the basket I'm putting it in categories all of his pre prescription meds together all vitamins together and over-the-counter um, all of his just general lotion and things like that together and then I'm going to um, try to create a way for again it to be simpler within the basket again you have to set up your systems to work for how you work so i'm having to set this up for how mike works now this is a, a, a little COVID kit that one of my subscribers wonderful subscribers made for mike and so um i'm definitely thinking that needs to go in his glove compartment because that would be better so once i took everything out and started putting it back in one purpose was to purge out anything that i felt like you know 
should not be in here. So one thing I, I looked and he had two containers of this Tums. And so I felt like that we could maybe pare down to one because when I looked at one, it was about a little more than a quarter in the bottle. And so, so instead of taking up valuable real estate in this basket and providing more clutter, I'm going to just kind of combine them. And then that way he has only one bottle. The other thing is that, um, when you are organizing for another family member's you know space you want to be sure that you're not taking things out removing them putting them other places because that can be frustrating when um, they come back and they're trying to find their things so although i am going in here and i'm organizing it i'm not removing anything permanently until i talk to mike so one thing that i'm doing is i have these little mini um, kind of woven baskets that I thought would be pretty to kind of create categories within this larger basket. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of his prescription medications and I'm going to line them up in one of the baskets because that way, even though he can just dump them in the basket, they each have their own little section within the basket and then it's not this just kind of wide open space. Then the second basket, I'll put more of the over the counter meds. Again, making it easy when he has to go to this basket. He's not having to kind of ramble around in his things. So as you can see, things are a little more categorized within the basket and it just makes it easier now the things that I did take out of the basket that I thought were questionable that either I didn't think he wanted or I thought that they belonged in another home I did remove those to the basket temporarily so I'll show you kind of what um, how I handle that but for now this is what I feel would be very efficient for him to be able to get to his things in instead of having to kind of again go through all of that that mess and so in the second basket which is his tech basket I'm going to do the same thing Thing. I'm going to pull everything out and categorize it. But as I go through, such as um, these discs here, I know that he doesn't want these because they're the wrong size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in their own pile because I'm creating a pile of things that I'm going to share with him and say, hey, can we do this or should we do this with these things? And so I'm going to, you know, let him know that, hey, I want to go ahead and return these or donate these or whatever the case may be, instead of having them take up real estate in his bedside cabinet. And then over time, if you don't do these steps, it gets out of hand because you'll keep piling things in without taking things out. And so that's um, the purpose of me doing this. And so now I want to go through again and I want to just take things out and I want to categorize them um, by like items just to give me a blank palette with an empty basket and then I'll rebuild it with the things that I think that should belong you know that he should or that I know that he uses so just taking everything out you know wrapping up the cords another thing that can be frustrating for him is to kind of come in here and have to fiddle with all his cords but again with his personality his type he just wants to come in and he just wants the dump but I also want to make it easier when he wants to kind of retrieve his things um, in his basket because if you just have that dump system it gets kind of crazy over time so as I am going through with the tech I am wrapping his cords up so that they can take up as minimal space as possible um, and if it was my side I probably would um, try to put it in a bag because I find that's easier for me to have like a little tech bag but again he doesn't function like that so I'm not going to try to force him into my way of organizing um, his side of the bed because it's this it's just that it's his side of the bed and it needs to work for him um, to make him happy and to make it easy for him. And friends, another thing that I want to talk about as I am kind of decluttering his basket here is that with tech items in your home, you want to just purge them on the regular. Tech changes so much. And we, one minute you're using um, headphones, next minute you're using AirPods. And so what you want to do is you don't want to hold on to old tech because old tech is going to provide you tons of clutter so as you advance with your technology you want to take the time and remove the old technology from your life and from your home so that it does not take up space you know how many of us have that drawer or that cabinet full of tech items and you never use it you never use that old uh, recorder that you had or that camcorder that you had and it's really something that you need to just kind of declutter and move um, out of your home space so that you can create a space that's just simplified and functions for how you live today. So now that we hit the reset button, we have our empty basket, it's time to rebuild it and reorganize it. So this is the fun part for me. And so I'm taking the items that I know that are those items that are current tech items that he wants to keep, that he is using currently. Those are the items that I'm going to put back in the basket. And I noticed he didn't take the price or the tag off of his baskets when I gave them to him. He ripped the tag off and I found it within the basket, but you know, bless his little heart. 
that's okay. I'm, I'll hook it up for him. But up, now that that is done, uh, these are the things that I removed. And of, of course I said, the, you know, I know that was something that needed to be returned. Um, here is a power bank that he does not use until we're traveling. So I'm going to put that in his laptop bag, which he keeps in his closet. So, but, but again, I took this out, but I'm going to talk with him about it first because I don't want him to come looking for that and I've moved it and he doesn't know where that is. So again, I feel like this um, thumb drive can also go there. I feel like the screws are definitely something that belong in the garage. And I know that we don't use this Amazon stick anymore. We don't have it anymore. So I know that that's something that needs to be moved on. And these ancient headphones are so outdated. He does not use these. He has AirPods that he uses now. And he also has other headphones that he used. So this is definitely something that I know can go. So I'm putting all of this on the tray so that we can deal with it, you know, so that he can put the wallet, the um, COVID kit wallet that my subscriber made in our glo his glove compartment um, in the car. Um, also the headphones, he can get rid of them and just kind of deal with the things that are on the tray. And I want him to deal with them and with me so that he knows where everything has gone. So I hope you have enjoyed seeing both our sides of the bed. I hope you all are doing great. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.